Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel Coffee Tea Paper. My name's Louise and today I'm going to try and investigate some of the mystery of what's been happening with Ferris Wheel Press. In particular, why aren't we getting the new releases here in Australia? Now if you are regular to my channel or if you're new here I am an ambassador for Ferris Wheel Press which means that they give me a discount code to share with my viewers and they also have been until February sending me products in which I can try them and basically do what I want with them. I like to review them because in Australia in particular they're quite expensive and we have some very good Australian fountain pen inks uh, locally as well. Uh, so I really enjoy reviewing them and trying to give you guys basically a good idea of how the ink behaves, my thoughts and um, impressions of it and any other products that they've sent me as well like they have sent me uh, the the spinning carousel which quite frankly I don't use mostly because I'm very clumsy uh, as well as some of their uh, carousel fountain pens as well but the big mystery has been why haven't we been getting the new updates like America and Canada. Now from what I understand is Ferris Wheel Press are basically setting up distribution centers in different parts of the world and having different websites for those different distribution centers. So we have a Ferris Wheel Press uh, Australia, there's a Singapore one, EU, Canada, US, I'll, I'll list them in the description box. And they seem to be wanting to do a staged approach in each of these regions. Whether, whether it's a, a stock distribution thing or, or, or what, or maybe they're testing the market in different areas for different types of inks, I don't know. Um, the updates that I get is that exciting things will be coming soon, coming soon, next quarter next quarter they'll be coming and in the meantime they've restructured their ambassador program somewhat and so they seem to be tightening that up and having of a more uh, a limited number of ambassadors and perhaps making a more of a regional uh, focus it's it's not particularly clear um I just thought we'll have a look at their uh, Instagram page together. All right, so here we are at the Ferris Wheel Press Instagram feed, and here are a couple of posts that they've pinned about the Get Me Not uh, fountain pen and their new ink that has uh, been released up in the Northern Hemisphere, Billowing Blush. Um, this is why I've put out a lot of the pink inks today if you have a look at because it's pink ink with a sparkle. Uh, another one that has been released uh, but not here in Australia and some other places is this Bayou, Bayou Berry Mist. <laughs> That's a bit tricky. And um, yeah, they're sharing a few posts from some different ambassadors who are mostly located up in the northern hemisphere. This is a teaser that they've released, no name, but a uh, a new a new ink that was just 14 hours ago there, and a few more ambassador shares there. But what I'm noticing is in a lot of the description box on the posts that they're putting in themselves is that they're saying things along the world that um, things along the line of soon to be released worldwide coming soon worldwide 
um, yeah, which is not very helpful in terms of a, a time frame for those of us who are still waiting. Uh, now, this is beginning June 2024. Uh, amidst our everyday ink, there are going to be a number of golden ticket bottles where you end up you can claim a free fountain pen that's going to be a limited edition and not for sale. So one thing I do know is that they are having a whole lot of special deals and they're staging these deals throughout the month. Some of them can be used in conjunction with the ambassador code. So my code is J A dash c2p and some of them can't so there are going to be certain days where uh, you might get uh, a redemption or extra loyalty points or a free ink if you purchase a number of things you just get those but there are going to be days where you can have those uh, bonuses as well as receiving the 15 percent off i think this is in a bid to get people to follow their Instagram, to sign up for emails uh, and just sort of generate a bit of, I guess, media following. Anyway, the, the upshot is that's as much as I know. Um, so I would just encourage you to, um, if, you're, if you're a big fan of Ferris Wheel Press um, and you haven't subscribed to their emails and you don't follow them on Instagram, which you know most people would then maybe you can go and do that when i know any updates or if i receive any new products to review of course i will be reviewing them here and letting you know my my thoughts on them in the meantime if you're after some beautiful pink ink with some shimmers i'm sure they still have some on their their website we'll take a quick look at their website and uh, see what they what their special deal is at the moment okay so here we are on the Australian Ferris wheel press website um, we can see shop our latest launches and if we go in that it's still um, back to January or February with the Knitted Nettle Ink and the Sherry Sonata. Uh, they have a loyalty program offer at the moment, a $35 sign-up bonus and 5% back. Uh, so you, you create an account, you get a $35 gift card and you can get 10% back on your purchases and you can get points. Um, so that's still... Uh, less of a discount than if you use uh, my ambassador code or if there's another um, uh, Ferris World Press brand ambassador who you prefer by all means use theirs and uh, yeah I know I know tomorrow on the 22nd of May they are going to have a, some sort of a, a promotion happening, um, which you can use the code as well. Um, they've got some other deals here. Buy two, get one free. Um, scribe, bundle, sketchbook, pen and ink. Um, their calligraphy inks. So if there are any inks that you... Um, Look, that Radiant Rose Wing, that's another pink ink with a shimmer. Um, so if there are any inks that you have been eyeing off, maybe go and check it out and just just have a look. Like if, if you're a big fan, just go and have a look on their website now and again and uh, see what's happening. Here are their leather products. Um, I don't know how they could have sold out because they've never actually been available in Australia as yet. I'm supposedly going to receive one to review at some point, but we'll see that when it happens. Uh, limited edition products. What have we got here? That's quite cute. I, I purchased one of those for myself and I really like it on my desk. 
um, there's still some fluttering heart which is another pink ink with a shimmer um, some pens there's some collaborative inks available so yeah but it's quite different to the website that you see in America and Canada and of course they are a Canadian company so um, all I can say is that uh, for the moment um, that's all I know and uh, yeah stay tuned if you if you want to ask them directly um, I'd encourage you to email the company directly and inquire about um, inquire about availability whether you're in Australia or another region that's finding that you're not getting the releases at the moment uh, they're generally pretty responsive but given the fact that I'm getting quite vague answers to my queries I you, you know you still might be a rather vague response as well anyway that's where we're up to I hope you found this um of moderate interest because that's 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 all I have <laughs> it's not really spilling the tea or spilling the ink as such it's really just sharing what I know at the moment thank you so much for listening to me go on and I'll see you in the next video bye